Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to turn your Python script into an executable file so that you can access it from your desktop. Uh, I'm gonna show you two different ways, so watch to the end of the video just in case the first one doesn't work for you. Um, and I'll use the second one as well, but I'm just gonna show you the typical one. So go ahead and open up your command prompt. You can do um, Windows and then the R key and you can type CMD. And let's do pip install PyInstaller, just like that, press enter. I've already got it, but for you guys, it will be a different screen. Um, so we can just go off that now. Let's go ahead and find our code, uh, like our Python script. I've got mine saved here it's in the password folder from the last video. If you haven't seen that, feel free to go watch that. Um, so we're just gonna go CMD at the top, open up the command window here, and we're just gonna type PyInstaller, PyInstaller, um, and then we're gonna do hyphen hyphen one file, and then the name of the script, which is main.py, whatever you guys have called your script, just pop that in there. And then we're gonna do hyphen W. If you have an icon, uh, you can type um, icon equals, you also need two hyphens there, uh, and then the location of wherever you've got the image or whatever it is, or the location of where you've got the actual icon file. You can hit enter right here and let this build. This shouldn't take too long for it to do, depending on the size of your application. Now you can just go to the dist, You've got the main.exe there. You can just run that. And there you go, you get your application. If it says there's an error executing the main script, what you've got to do is just drag this into the folder where you've got the actual script. So I've got the main.py here, and now you've got this there. So if that still doesn't work, and you're still getting the error, maybe check if there's any, any images that you're referencing inside of your code. Um, if there is, you're gonna to need to make sure those are all in here as well. So if you're still getting some errors with this, then I've got another tip for you. And my advice is to go to download this app. So if you go to Inno and Setup, uh, let's go ahead and look for this page right here. And you're gonna go to this one here and go to the random site and download this. I just wanna double check that I've already got this. Yep, so I've already got it. So once you've downloaded um, this application here, you go to the random site one, uh, depending on whichever platform you're using. Um, once you've got it, you can just open it up. You'll see a page like this. Go ahead and hit cancel. You can go to file and then new. Um, we're just gonna go through this together. We'll just click next. We'll just, I'm just gonna call it password. So, oh, spell that horribly, password. You can fill this in however you like. I'm just gonna go ahead and click next. Um, this is fine, you can leave this if you want. And, and this right here is where you've got to find the executable file that we've just created. If it's saying that it can't execute the file because of the error with the main script or something like that, then just go and find the um, folder in which we just built with the uh, dist. And then we're gonna look for password. And here it is. So we're gonna actually add this file right here into the inno setup. So once we've done that, if you have any other application files, go ahead and click add folder which I'm gonna do. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put the whole folder in there. I always do this best practice, just click on that, put that in there. Um, we're just gonna put that straight in, the whole thing. Uh, we're gonna go next. Um, this is fine. This is all fine. You can skip through this. You can also skip through this part. You can, you can change the sentence however you like, but this bit is completely unnecessary. This is where it's actually gonna be saved. I'm just gonna do it to the desktop. Um, this is the setup name, let's just do password. My setup password. You can add an icon file if you want and a password, completely up to you. Um, just click next, finish. Would you like to compile the new script now? Click yes. You can save this if you want, I'm not going to. Um, as you can see down here, it's doing its thing. So I'm just gonna cross off this. And as you can see on the desktop now, we have this file right here. Um, and we're just gonna go ahead and open it. It will bring up this box, we can click yes. And now it's just gonna ask where we wanna save it and if you wanna create a desktop shortcut, which I'm going to, just hit next and then install. And now you can launch the application and there shouldn't be any problems. This is usually the safest way to do it, is using Inno, so I do suggest you do that. Um, but I really hope that you found this useful. If you're still having errors, it's, it could be something to do with the type of file that you're trying to make executable. Sometimes some database files are a little bit dodgy doing that. Um, but yeah, you can always look into this stuff online. But I really hope you found it useful, guys, and I'll catch up with you in the next video.